welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today's video, we have some really serious business to discuss. And yes, I am sitting at my table, not where I usually film my videos, because this video involves some really serious business. And that table hit is ne necessary for what is going to come in this video. So, as you guys probably already read the title of this video because, of course, you clicked on it and you're watching this right now, it involves figure skating and it is involving Elena Kosternaya. If you guys didn't know, Elena Kosternaya is probably one of my favorite one of the Russians. Like, currently, she just skates amazing and this news came as a shock to me. But I woke up this morning and when I looked at my Instagram, I saw a lot of people were posting about this and I was really shocked. So if you guys haven't already heard about it, I'm going to be sharing it with you guys right now. So let's get into it. As you guys could probably already tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about Elena Kosternaya, as I already mentioned earlier in the video. But I'm going to be talking about some recent news that just came out and it was really shocking to me. And the news is that Elena Kostanaya is leaving Atiri and is going to train with Plushenko. And I was really shocked when I first heard this, but after reading what actually happened, I wasn't as shocked anymore. So I found this article on the Olympic channel, so I'm going to read it to you guys. Okay, so the article is titled, Russian figure skater Kostanaya leaves Tutberetsi to join Plushenko's camp. Elena Kostrnaya was a top performing star for Atiri Tutberetsi, but now joins former training mate Alexandra Chuseva in leaving her coach. As I mentioned here, Elena Kostrnaya was a top performing star of Atiri Tutberetsi, and I totally believe that. I feel like Elena was probably one of the best skaters that Atiri had because she was super graceful. All of her skating programs and just her skating in general were amazing. She didn't necessarily have quads like Anna or Alexandra, but just because she didn't have quads, she still had a triple axel. And I feel like all of her performing skills definitely was able to keep her up on like the podium. Elena Kosternaya, the Grand Prix Final and European Championships winner this past season in figure skating, has left famed coach Atiri Tutberetsi to join Evgeny Plushenko's team, according to Tutberetsi's Instagram. Tutberetsi posted a photo of Kosternaya Friday with a long caption that, via translated, said, The outside world affects our dear and kind. Skaters going on to detail issues with former Tutberetsi pupils Evgen Evgenia Medvedeva and Elena Zagitova, the Olympic silver and gold medalist, respectively. Are we going to change something in our training system? No, Tutberetsi continued. I am sure that those with us are solid, loyal, and resistant to outside influences. So, I mean, in my opinion, I don't want this to sound rude at all because I totally respect Atiri. She's an amazing coach and she has done some wonderful things in skating. But, I mean, recently some of her top skaters have left her. Like Evgenia Medvedeva, you have Alexander Chuseva, and now Eliana Kostanaya. And if you add that all together, it doesn't really quite connect because she was saying that she isn't going to change anything in their training system because she finds that the ones that are with her are solid, loyal, and resistant to the outside influences. So for me, in my opinion, all of this doesn't really connect. There's probably something going on in like their group, but I don't really want to get into that right now and we'll have to see if we can find something else out later. So I went onto Tiri's Instagram and I looked at the post that she recently uploaded about Eliona and I translated what she wrote on the post and this is what it translated to. Hopefully it makes some sense because I don't know any Russian so this is from Russian to English like on Google Translate. So it says, They come to us nice, kind, open-minded people who want to achieve results, prove themselves and others. Time passes, we work productively, and sometimes achieve tremendous results. And then it feels like the outside world is affecting our sweet and kind. 
There are, new con there are new and new conditions for continuing to work together, like increasing the payment for love. Once, Yulia put forward a demand not to go on the ice with Evgenia. We tried to meet all the conditions. It didn't help. Then Evgenia refused to ride with Alina. And now from Eliona, we have received a whole list of girls, non grata, and... I read about that somewhere else on Instagram when they were talking about it and it says that Eliona made a list of all the skaters that she doesn't want to train with so I'm guessing that's what non grata means. So I just finished looking on Instagram and I found another Instagram post and this one talks a little bit more about an article or like an interview with uh, Itiri. So this one was in Russian as well so I translated it and I'm going to read it to you guys. You always try to find an excuse for any action, a teary tooth Beretzi on Elena Kosternaya's departure. After Alexander Chusev, a figure skater, Elena Kosternaya left a teary tooth Beretzi's coaching group. The European champion, the winner of the ISU Grand Prix final, and the holder of two world records passed to Evgeny Pleshenko. In an interview with TASS, Tutberetzi reveals details of the last days of working with the athlete, told about the production of her new programs and her attitude to what happened. Until July 15th, she trained well, recovered with a great mood, and prepared for the season. There were two programs, short and free, and in our professional opinion, they should have made at least a splash in figure skating. This was a godsend both for her and for the situation in the world. Already on July 16th, she had a rather sour mood, and then she was not well. She did not go out on the ice, and on the 18th evening, we talked. Elena announced her plans for the transition, then she left the base, base citing health problems. Did you manage to recover from the transition to Plushenko, Sasha Trusova? No, of course not, but you always try to find an excuse for any action. Try to see the world through their eyes. Understand that they want to win in this situation, but to do this you need to talk. What was missing for Elena? She said that she can't be on the ice with a certain list of athletes. We try to separate the skaters. We had five people on the ice, and there was enough time for each of them. Yes, when there were ten of them, of course, I did not have time, but we have three coaches on the ice. Of course, our coaching staff is offended that we were chosen simply as a staff with which you can be guaranteed to pass training camps for recovery. With Eliana, a week was spent on the production, but we could have spent this time on other athletes, on implementing our other creative ideas. Of course, it's devastating. Now I'm going to continue with the article. Kosternaya has not confirmed the move herself. This past year, the Russian trio of Kosternaya, Alexander Trusova, and Anna Shubrakova dominated the Grand Prix series, winning all six events among them before Kosternaya resigned supreme at the Grand Prix final. Zagitova, winner at Pyeongchang 2018 and regaining world champ, stepped away from the sport mid-season after the sixth place finish at the final. Medvedeva, who now trains with Brian Orser in Toronto, did the same. But Trusova's move to Plushenko this spring broke up the trio many called Triple A, and Kosternaya's departure and subsequent move to Plushenko comes just weeks after the young star told Olympic Channel that her now former coach was often misunderstood. Atiri Tutbretsi is very often referred to as the Snow Queen, Kosternaya said in an exclusive chat. I believe this is not the case. She is a very kind, open, and honest person who will always tell the truth. She'll never keep it away from you. In her Instagram post, Tutberetti said her team had achieved collagial result, results, hopefully I said that correctly, and also acknowledged a rift between Medvedeva and Zagitova while they trained together, and an attempt to quell the various demands of skaters. The figure skating season is set to begin in full in October, though the ISU is expecting to announce next week whether it will move forward or not with the Grand Prix series. Earlier this month, the organization canceled the Junior Grand Prix, citing COVID-19 related travel and health concerns. The 2020 Figure Skating World Championships in Montreal were also canceled, having been planned for March.
That is the end of the article. I totally respect Elena Kosternai's decision because she's the athlete here and only they know what is going on here because I don't think they're going to be revealing the entire story to us. But as I could tell with Alexander Trusova, Plushenko is doing an amazing job coaching them because Trusova has been able to keep up all of her triples and all of her quads and her skating has been looking amazing. So I'm really happy to see what Plushenko will be able to do with Elena Kosternaya. This is the end of the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I want you guys to comment down below. What are your guys' opinion on this topic? It's It definitely came as a shock to me, but I definitely understand her reasons why she left, and I feel like she made a good choice choosing to go to Plushenko. Anyways, also don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications. Love you guys. Bye!